Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to IITD. Today I am going to show you how to do simulation in, inside Echo Structure Machine Expert. So, so now when um, Echo Structure Machine Expert is a free software, so if you want to do simulation, if you want to practice it, uh, so it's not possible to have a hardware every time. So you should know how to do the simulation. So here I am going to explain how to do the simulation inside the software. So I'll open the Echo Structure Machine Expert. The only thing we are not going to do inside this one is we are not going to touch the communication part. So when you download to the hardware, uh, the communication is important. Uh, so what kind of communication if you, you are doing? Uh, if it is Ethernet, you have to give the IP address or the USB, you have to connect the USB, all these kind of things. So for the simulation part, we don't have to take care of all these things. So first uh, open the project, you can see the properties. Here you have to uh, disable the uh, application protection part. So that means you have inactive option, uh, enable the inactive option. Otherwise, every time it will ask for the password and confirmation. So if you are practicing it, it will be difficult. But when it comes to industry, definitely the program will be protected with a password. That's a different scenario. So now click on this apply. Again, go to configuration. So if you know the model, so for example, if you are doing with a particular model, you can select that particular model because the number of IOs, everything will be different. So if you are familiar with any model, you can go for that one or you can continue with the same model which is shown here. So it will be like TM221 CM16R. So all the inputs, digital inputs, outputs, etc. will be displayed here. The device description will be displayed here. So I'll just move forward with this TM221 CE24R because I have this hardware. But I'll show you the simulation. So when I click on that one, you can see how many inputs, how many outputs. 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, the Ethernet port, 1 serial line port, 100 to 240 AC power supply controller. So all these kind of spec of this, uh, the description of the device will be displayed here. So according to that, you can select the device. So I'll drag this and place it on the top of this current CPU. It will say, do you want to replace it? Yes. So once you click on this, you can see uh, the device which you have selected. So this is option to give the uh, communication part. So I'm not going to do with the hardware part. I'm just doing the simulation. So it, it's not necessary to uh, enable the communication. So directly you can go to the programming part. You can see a rung there. So all the uh, basic features, basic elements like normally open switch, normally closed. It's known as negated conduct here. Triggers, less than, greater than. The rest of all the instructions are uh, you can see here so set reset uh, the coil all the basic elements is displayed on the top itself so if you want to add the rung uh, you can click on this particular add rung option or if you want to insert a rung you can use the second option insert a new rung then if you want to delete it you can use the third one again you can see an option for normal mode and a branch mode if you want to connect something in parallel you can go for this branch mode or you can use the pencil for that one if you want to erase something an uh, eraser option is also available so let's move on to the programming part i'll place a switch here i'll connect it to the coil okay so now uh, let me do a branching part also i'll take this place it here I can draw it using the pencil or I'll delete this you can select this branching mode and select the element which you want so for example I want a normally uh, open contact then click on that one so automatically a branch option will be available with a normally open switch so I'll select that and connect it like this okay so it's done now again you have to give the address so this is i0.0 .0. so I'll go for uh, i0.1 my output address will be so if you here if you want to uh, give a tag name that is also possible so for example i'm giving this as input one 
so it will ask do you want to associate in one with this input yes so next input i'll be giving in2 yes then out1 so all the tag names are assigned for the addresses so now we'll move on to the conditional part so i said to you that we are going to do with uh, simulation um, simulator so there is an option called uh, launch simulator and this login option etc is for the hardware uh, com communication or hardware download so we don't need to do that one so we'll click on this launch simulator yeah it will take some time So when you click on the loan simulator it will ask for start controller so i have to click on the start controller then only your program will be enabled so you are about to launch the controller to do so click ok yeah i'll press ok i'll go to the programming part so there you can see an option near to this which f0 and f1 so if i click on f1 see the description is written there click to force to one click again to unforce so yeah your input is on and your output is on Let's see F1, it will become true, F0, it will become false, okay. So this is a way to do the uh, simulation, so here you can, so this is the way how to do the, uh, how you can use the simulator part. Now I'll go to the commissioning and you can first stop the controller, then you can click on stop simulator in order to edit it. So this is how we do the simulation. So hope you understood it.